Hey folks, this is Virginia Native. Just got back from the bank. And I got a bag of, uh, actually they're dimes. It says quarters on the bag. But it's uh, $450 of customer wrapped dimes. So I'm going to give it a shot and see if I can't find me a silver or two. And there you have it all laid out. Uh, no really interesting rolls in here. Uh, nothing that stands out as being old, but we'll give it a shot and see what we find. Alright, very first roll in and I saw a silver edge. Turned into a 1979 Canadian 10 cents, so we'll keep looking. Alright folks, uh, nearing the end of the first hundred dollars here. Uh, I was down to two rolls left and I opened the second to the last of the first hundred and I don't know how good it's going to pick it up but right there in the center there's a silver so let's just see what we got it is What is it? A 1950... Hang on a second. It's a 1957. Just doesn't want to focus. And it has... Uh, no mint mark. So the first silver... Is a 57 Rosie. Alright, good start. And that was... Uh, not quite through with the first $100 and I've got $450 left and you can see there's my pile on the floor so we'll keep looking alright folks I'm back um, I've got five more rolls to search through uh, maybe three rolls back I found a 1964 and uh, I just found another 1964 and this one happens to be a D mint mark I believe the other one was plain. So far, that's three silvers. Uh, and I've got 25 more bucks to look through. So I'll let you know. Holy crap, folks. The very next roll, and there's another silver. Uh, looks like I waited toward the end of the pile to start finding. Let's see what this one is. Uh, there's a mint mark and a D and another 1964 D cool uh, got four more rolls plus a little bit left in this one so maybe I'll get lucky again alright folks let me wrap this up um, this was a coin roll hunt I did it's uh, December the 5th 2014 searched four hundred and fifty dollars in dimes First of all, I'll show you the oddities. I kind of like to collect these uh, slicks. I don't know what made it like this. I don't know if it got hung in a conveyor or, or exactly what. But you can see that is slick. Just got character to it. It's nothing special. It's not silver. So it's just kind of cool. And then here, looks like somebody tried to punch a hole through the middle. Uh, didn't quite make it. It's a 1973. So, nothing spectacular, but just oddities. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I did find two Canadians. A 1979 and a 1983. And I ended up with four silver rosies, uh, 57, a 64, and two 1964 Ds. So we'll see if it wants to focus. There's the 57. And there is a 64. And then there's a 64. It has the D mint mark. And that one also has the D mint mark. So, all in all, uh, not a bad day. I needed to 
search I hadn't searched any since uh, probably early November so I felt that was a pretty good little uh, waste of time earned a few silvers uh, stayed dry stayed in the house today so anyway uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll be back with some more coin roll hunting uh, metal detecting or some other treasure hunting real soon alright thanks